test for. In this section of the test, you will have the chance to show how well you understand spoken English. There are four parts to this section, with special directions for each part. Part 1. Directions. For each question, you will see a picture and you will hear four short statements. The statements will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speaker says. When you hear the four statements, look at the picture and choose the statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Choose the best answer, A, B, C, or D. Now listen to the four statements. You will hear A. He is on the phone. B. She is driving the car. C. She is typing on the computer. D. He is sitting next to her. Statement D. Best describes what you see in the picture. Therefore, you should choose answer D. One. A. The blonde woman is writing a lab report. B. The blonde woman is wearing a watch. C. The blonde woman is teaching biology. D. The blonde woman is wearing protective goggles. Two. A. The weather is warm. B. They are fighting in a war. C. They are promoting peace. D. They are in the middle of the street. Three. A. There are two water bottles. B. The man is writing in green marker. C. They are at separate tables. D. The woman is asking a question. Four. A. A woman is wearing a backpack. B. There are boxes on the table. C. They each have a laptop. D. There are flowers in a vase. Five. A. They are running in a group. B. They are hiking in the woods. C. They are wearing helmets. D. They are in the street. Six. A. They have glasses full of juice. B. They are acting professionally. C. They each have a plate of food. D. They have bibs around their necks. Seven. A. A man and woman are arguing. B. Both men are wearing ties. C. A woman is smiling. D. A man has curly hair. Eight. A. The woman is wearing a dress. B. There is an iron on the woman's table. C. The woman is measuring fabric. D. There is a pile of clothes on the floor. Nine. A. The man has one hand on the wheel. B. The man has sunglasses on the top of his head. C. The windows are shut. D. There are two people in the car. Ten. A. He is wearing a backpack. B. He is standing upright. C. He is posing for a picture. D. He's in a photography studio. Test four, part two, directions. In this part of the test, you will hear a question or statement spoken in English, followed by three responses, also spoken in English. 
The question or statement and the responses will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully. You are to choose the best response to each question or statement. Now listen to a sample question. You will hear. Why are you late? A. I hope I won't be. B. My car broke down. C. He always is. The best response is choice B. My car broke down. Therefore, you should choose B. Eleven. Is it true that you are from Belgium? A. But I don't believe you. B. No, but I lived there for ten years. C. A lot of Americans live there. Twelve. When do you leave for your summer vacation? A. My brother is letting us stay in his cottage for a week. B. Not before July. C. We are looking forward to it. Thirteen. Which do you recommend that I buy? A. Maybe we'll have better luck at another store. B. It's right next to the hardware store on Twenty Seventh Avenue. C. I think the striped shirt is more becoming of you. Fourteen. May I please speak to your manager? A. No, I have to leave right now. B. Unfortunately, that is out of stock. C. I'm afraid she doesn't work Saturdays. Fifteen. How far is the hotel from here? A. It's a forty-minute bus ride. B. It's seventy dollars a night. C. It comes with a king-size bed. Sixteen. Will your new move shorten your commute to work? A. By about fifteen minutes. B. It's the first house on the right. C. It's the newest model. Seventeen. Is your new assistant's name Cheryl or Carol? A. She's been here for three weeks now. B. It's the former. C. She's starting at the end of the month. Eighteen. Did you enjoy the slideshow? A. I thought they gave an excellent performance. B. No, I joined last week. C. Yes, it was quite informative. Nineteen. Call me as soon as you land. A. I'd rather be by the ocean. B. I promise I won't forget. C. I'll anxiously await your call. Twenty. Can I pick up my check on Thursday instead of Friday? A. I'm sorry, but it won't be ready until Friday morning. B. I've already checked there. C. No, but Thursday will be fine. Twenty-one. How many people can the seminar room fit? A. It's a little snug at the waist. B. They're coming at eight a.m. sharp. C. Up to two hundred. Twenty-two. Where is the nearest bathroom? A. Hurry, we are waiting for you. B. I thought it was open. C. Down the hall to your left. Twenty-three. How did the annual network statistics look? A. They start tomorrow. B. Down, I'm afraid. C. They look very professional. Twenty-four. 
24. Aren't you due for some time off? A. I start my vacation tomorrow. B. I turned in all of my library books. C. The deadline was last night. 25. Do I get the mailroom access card from you? A. I'm sorry, we don't accept credit cards. B. No, you need to talk to Barbara next door. C. It's not difficult to get to. Twenty-six. Do you take the bus often? A. I usually take my time. B. Yes, it's cheaper than taxis. C. I've taken all my valuables with me. Twenty-seven. What time is the piece being unveiled? A. All the major newspapers will be covering the event. B. The day before yesterday. C. In 15 minutes. We have to hurry. 28. Please fill out this form using black ink. A. Actually, I think it's a casual affair. B. Yes, I do. C. May I borrow one of your pens? 29. How much longer until you hear from them? A. Any day now. B. Stand close to the speaker. C. I can't hear them either. 30. When is Miss Bradshaw retiring from the force? A. Oh, no, she chose to leave. B. By the end of the month. C. She begins her training tomorrow. 31. Should we grab a bite before the lecture or after? A. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. B. It was very interesting. C. I'm not hungry now. Let's wait. 32. Will you bring the photographs of your camping trip? A. We go every summer. B. Of course, I would love to share them. C. It was the most fun I had had in a long time. 33. Has the panel voted yet? A. No, not until sometime tomorrow afternoon. B. Yes, by a landslide. C. There will be a minority victory. 34. What would you guess the turnout was for the assembly? A. Maybe around 300. B. I hope they do. It's very important. C. To address problems in public education. 35. Do you mind switching seats so I can be by the aisle? A. Of course. I'm scared of heights. B. I will be right over. C. Not at all. I actually prefer the window. 36. Why didn't you do early enrollment? A. I wasn't ready to commit at that point. B. They told me last week. C. It was quite enjoyable. 37. How can I subscribe to your services? A. That is not allowed. B. Just fill out our online application. C. It's $15 a month. 38. Who wrote this report? A. Thank you, Joseph. I'm glad you liked it. 
B. It is very impressive, Joseph. C. It must have been Joseph. 39. Why don't we join a country club? A. Until next Friday. B. How about Russia? C. Because they are too expensive. Forty. Would you like some grapes? A. Yes, that sounds tasty. B. Yes, I couldn't eat another bite. C. No, I don't. Test 4, Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response for each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 41 through 43 refer to this conversation. Are the proposals done? The boss is really stressed. I'll need another hour or two. He is not going to be happy to hear that. His own boss is very demanding. I'm doing all I can, and if he is not satisfied, he can come and talk to me. Now let me get back to work. 41. Who is the most worried about meeting a deadline? 42. When is the earliest that the proposals will be done? 43. What is the woman going to do as soon as the man leaves? Questions 44 through 46 refer to this conversation. I'm looking for the Hicks Conference Center. You were in the Mandel Building when you actually want to be in doing. Is that building far away? The meeting begins in 15 minutes. You should be fine. Leave from the back exit, cross the street, and turn right at the fountain. You can't miss it. 44. Where is this conversation taking place? 45. How long will it take the woman to get to her meeting? 46. Where is the doing building? 47. Questions 47 through 49 refer to this conversation. What's wrong? No sleep? Bad day at work? Mostly the latter. Two teenagers attempted to shoplift. What happened? The security guard caught them, but we had to call the police, and I hated having police cars outside my store. It doesn't exactly encourage people to come in and buy books. Then their parents came to pick them up. 47. What is bothering the woman the most? 48. Who caught the teenagers? 49. What didn't the woman like when the police came? Questions 50 through 52 refer to this conversation. I'm in trouble if I don't find this file. My boss will kill me. Instead of looking for it directly, why don't you try organizing your desk a bit? It's a disaster. But I like it this way. Ah, here it is. I searched every drawer and pile, but I didn't think to look on the floor. 50. What does the man suggest? 51. Why doesn't the woman clean her desk? 52. Where does the woman find the file? 53 through 55 refer to this conversation.
I'm so impressed with you for starting this new business. I was living off my parents at your age. My father did lend me a lot of money. But you are making all the decisions. Right. But I don't dare congratulate myself until it's up and running with a good customer base. 53. How old is the woman? 54. What is the man's dad helping with? 55. Why isn't the man proud of himself? 56 through 58 refer to this conversation. You know that you are a valued employee, but lately your efficiency has slowed down. I'm sorry, but I've just had a baby. I understand that, but as your boss, I need to hold you accountable for your work. With all due respect, I've just won a big case. Where I am slacking is at home with my son. 56. What kind of worker is the woman normally? 57. Why has the woman's work behavior changed? 58. To what does the woman want to dedicate more energy? 59. Questions 59 through 61 refer to this conversation. It looks so different. Well, we wanted to be completely comfortable inside our house when we retire. How did you afford it? The kids are on their own now, and we're no longer paying for tuition. Also, Mark inherited money from his father. You've always worked so hard. You deserve a comfortable retirement. 59. What did the woman just do? 60. What is not a reason explaining why the woman has more money? 61. What does the man think? 62. Questions 62 through 64 refer to this conversation. Work was exhausting today. I was in surgery for over five hours. I'm just relieved we are done and out of the hospital. Sometimes I feel like I live there. I feel like we live at this bar. We spend more time here than our homes. Because there is housework waiting for us at home. Good point. Let's get another drink. 62. Where is this conversation taking place? 63. Who are the man and woman? 64. Why are they staying at the bar? 65. Questions 65 through 67 refer to this conversation. The elevator is going to be repaired tomorrow. It's about time. I can't imagine having to walk up seven flights of stairs another day. I know. My apartment is on the 10th floor. At least we've gotten some exercise. I suppose. Okay, we better get to the stairwell. 65. Where is this conversation taking place? 66. Where is the man's final destination? 67. What does the woman see as positive? Questions 68 through 70 refer to this conversation. Will the company give me money in advance for meals and transportation? Unfortunately, no, but they reimburse you almost immediately. Just keep your receipts and fill out the paperwork. Uh, what paperwork? You're meant to record all your expenses so they can keep it on files for taxes. You can pick them up at the front desk. I'm so glad I ran into you. 68. Who is the man in relationship to the woman? 
69. What does the woman not have to do? Seventy. What is the nature of the man and woman's meeting? Test 4, Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following talk. I will now start distributing the evaluation forms. Please take the time to write a thorough evaluation on this lecture. Your feedback is extremely important to us. I am constantly searching for ways to become more effective in what I do. So please answer honestly. It is completely anonymous. However, should you wish to write your name, you may do so. I am to leave the room while you are filling them out. So I've already asked June to collect all evaluations and return them to the administration office. Take all the time you need. Thank you. 71. What is the speaker passing out? Seventy two. Why are the results important to the speaker? Seventy three. What is true of the situation? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following news report. In the business world, Quest Communications said Tuesday that the U.S. Attorney's Office is investigating accounting issues that are also under scrutiny by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Quest previously acknowledged the Justice Department investigation, but said it didn't know the subject of the probe. The U.S. Attorney's Office requested that Quest make presentations similar to those that it made to the SEC. 74. What is true of this news report? 75. Who is to give a presentation? 76. What kind of problem is being reported? 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. May I have your attention, please? Flight 418 departing at 8.12 p.m. to Lima is overbooked. If you have an assigned seat on this flight and would be willing to give it up, please approach the ticket counter immediately. You will be scheduled to leave on tomorrow's flight departing at 9.27 a.m. As compensation for your generosity, we will pay for your overnight accommodation and give you a free round trip to anywhere in the U.S. 77. Why are people being asked to give up their seats? 78. What will someone who gives up a seat get? 79. What time will someone who does not give up their seat leave? 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. As the sole caregiver of my wife, a victim of Huntington's caria disease, I am appalled by the President's resistance to full-fledged stem cell and therapeutic cloning research. Doctors say such cloning is the best chance for a cure of this horrible disease. That anyone would hinder or limit the research brings me to anger and tears. For the sake of my wife's life, and because the disease is genetic, the lives of our children and grandchildren, we must support stem cell and therapeutic research. Thank you for your time. 80. Who has Huntington's Correa disease? 
81. What is the speaker's attitude toward the president's actions? Eighty two. What is true of stem cell research? Questions eighty three through eighty five refer to the following advertisement. Welcome to Doncaster Village. My name is Anne and I am the main realtor here. Here at Doncaster, we have the best of all worlds. It has the feel of the country and the convenience of nearby schools, shopping, and places of worship. We offer hardwood floor and modern kitchens in your apartment or townhome, as well as great community benefits like tennis courts and a swimming pool. We offer a variety of floor plans ranging from one bedroom to three. Prices, of course, range accordingly. Now let's go over here and have a look at this two-bedroom townhome. 83. Who is the speaker addressing? 84. What is true of Doncaster Village? 85. What kind of apartment could you not buy at Doncaster Village? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following talk. Now listen very carefully, because these steps will help make your yard the envy of the neighborhood. We all hate those dead shrubs, so let's get rid of them. To do so properly, place a hose at the base of the dead plant. Allow the water to run slowly for several hours or as long as overnight. Then loop a length of chain or heavy webbing strap around the base of the dead plant. Tie a bowline knot to attach the chain or webbing strap to a long length of nylon rope. Attach the nylon rope to the towing ring on a car. Start the car and pull forward slowly until the slack has been removed from the line. Pull forward slowly. The roots will pull easily from the wet soil. Slow is the operative word here. Take your time and let the forward motion of the car take the load. Chip and compost the dead shrub after it has been pulled from the ground. And that's all it takes. 86. For what is a speaker giving instructions? 87. What is the first step? 88. How should you drive the car? 89-91 Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following talk. Job fairs are extremely useful in that they afford you opportunities to speak with many employers at one time in one space. However, they are not for the shy or even the overly confident, for that matter. You need to make a good impression in person and look prepared. You're not necessarily learning about every opportunity in each organization. You are learning where the major hiring needs are. These are once-a-year events, so don't miss the ones you need. Along with fairs, I would also recommend looking at job listings online or in print. Of course, what is by far the most useful thing in job searching is good networking and knowing people in the desired field. Who you know doesn't necessarily outweigh what you know. However, it sure does play an important role. 89. Why are job fairs a good option? 90. What is the best way to obtain a job? 91. What is the speaker giving to the listeners? 92-94 Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following news report. The entire west side of Lexington has been deemed a disaster area and will remain so for at least another week. Over 10,000 families have been without power since Sunday evening when the storm hit. 
All vehicles, with the exception of those used for emergencies, are asked to stay off the roads. The flooding and the hail from the storm toppled trees and electric power lines. Emergency shelters have been set up throughout the city. Police are currently doing all in their power to transport residents to these shelters. The shelters are crowded and full of anxious individuals, but heat and food are available to all. If you are interested in helping in any way, please call the hotline at 1 800 342 8439. 92. For how long will West Lexington be deemed a disaster area? Ninety three. What vehicle cannot be on the road? Ninety four. What is true of the emergency shelters? Questions ninety five through ninety seven refer to the following talk. Hollywood has now conquered the perfume world. They've all conquered movies television and have produced platinum albums and they are joining forces with department stores to make us all smell a little bit better. Capturing all Hollywood themes, the stars are selling perfumes named Diamonds and Riches. When leafing through a perfume catalog, one might easily think they are reading their favorite tabloid. 95. Who are producing the perfumes? 96. What is a common theme of the perfume names? 97. Where can people read about the perfumes they want to buy? 98-100 Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following advertisement. It's amazing how powerful and useful the smallest products on the block can be. Namely, the new tarjeta recently put on the market by Mel. This smart card, a plastic rectangle that looks like a standard credit card, contains a microprocessor, which transforms it into a mini computer with impressive capabilities. A tarjeta can keep track of travel reservations and tickets, hotel reservations and information, debit and credit cards, as well as electronic money. 98. What is the tarjeta? 99. What transforms the card? 100. Which of the following can the tarjeta hold? 100. That is the end of the test.